Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Cities Skylines with me, Biffa, here on Heavenly Island, enjoying the lovely views that we have around here. Here we are up at the wind farm. I was asking you guys for names of things that we could have. I didn't realize these wind farms had little doors, so if you want to, you can nip inside and go up to the top of the wind farm and enjoy the views even more. Let's have a look down in our city. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. Let's get over here to the the edge of this point here. So you guys sent in some fantastic names for the wind farms, and I picked a winner. Wow. There we go, look at that. And you got the shadow of the wind farm turning as well. That is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So some of the names we had sent in, a good one by Nathan Hamilton was Spinning Falls. Unfortunately, that was not the winner. Falls, my accent, you might be able to tell what I'm talking about. These falls, waterfalls, not fools, as in F-O-O-L-S. Whoa, I'm going down the mountain. Let's stay up here. Uh, thank you for that, Nathan. That was an excellent suggestion. We also had Vortex Heights by Julie Lioness, which, again, wasn't our suggestion. It uh, wasn't the winner. It was, a, it was a suggestion. It wasn't the winning suggestion. But thank you for that suggestion. But the winning suggestion, which I thought was fantastic... And we're going to jump out of here. There we go. And jump out of here. Is. Let's get our district up. And this was from Preacher. Here we go. We have our district up already. It's just not got a bit I can click on for a name. So I get a name here. And it hasn't given me the ability to name this one. Ah, oh, what is that? Is that... Oh, there we go. Green Heights. Was that not there a second ago? Or am I completely blind? Anyway, the winning name is... The Joe Hills Memorial Wind Farm. Yes, it fits in. The Joe Hills... Oh, capital... Let's have a capital M. Got to spell things correctly. The Joe Hills Memorial Wind Farm from Preacher. That is a fantastic name. And he said the reason was is because... Uh, well, he said Joe Hills is full of hot air, but then he sort of changed it and said he's long-winded. He doesn't mean to be rude, but I can see where he's coming from. <laughs> Joe Hills likes to talk a lot. So the Joe Hills Memorial Wind Farm. That is a fantastic name. Thank you for the suggestions as well. We need some other suggestions. We've still got to name our districts down here. We have, this is Butler Hills at the moment. This doesn't have a name or a district, does it? Let's put... A little district in here. So if you guys got another name for these two, let me know in the comments below. There we go. Thornton Hills. But we're going to get to a couple of projects in a moment. Something else I've got added here is a City Statistics or City Vitals mod. You can easily see all of these. It's obvious, isn't it? What we can what we can see. Oh, landfill usage. It says it's full. Where is that? Let's see. Uh operating normally that to me would say it's full but it seems to be okay and these are working okay let's have a look 17 out of 27 six. yes they're doing good that's okay need to up some of those incineration status crematorium availability we do not have any of those anywhere I don't believe uh, and they're now unlocked as well so we can use either oh they're not unlocked yet no, we're not quite there yet, so we're not going to use the additional ones I've gained until the correct ones are unlocked, so that's fine. Elementary schools are a problem, so let's take a quick look at that. I believe we have here... Here we go, an elementary school there. And what have we got over here? Is this a high school, elementary school, elementary school? Class is skipped! Oh, I've never seen that before. 298 out of 300 and 298 out of 300 and where's the other one 295 out of 300 okay so where would be a good spot for another school we've got two up there i think another one down here would be good so let's go with dp's 8x5 high school elementary school yep we've got that selected let's pop that um, which way round are the roads going here? Let's just make sure. So they're going down and up. And then that's two way. So we could have it on this road along here somewhere. I think that would be a good spot. We'll take out this last shop. There we go. That will be good for buses as well. So that's taking care of our education. Hopefully. Still a bit low. Can we actually get the figure from there? We can. Yeah, we need another one. 
There's a lot of people up here. Let's add another one up here then. Let's take a quick look. So down this spot down here would be good. We haven't got one down here. Let's find an empty little area. Oh, do these roads go? They're all two-way roads, so anywhere will do. Can I squeeze it in there without taking out a building? I can't, but we'll add it there anyway. Excellent. So that's going to help us keep an eye on that. And high school was the last one, wasn't it? Let's grab DP's high school. We have one, we have two. Let's put another one up here. We will put that... Let's put that on one of these main roads over here out of the way. I'm just going to destroy a couple of buildings. Oh, I can't put it there. I can't put it there. There we go. That'll be good. Excellent. Now, somebody mentioned... Let's just double check that's okay. Yep, doing okay there. Somebody mentioned about my fire stations that I apparently had two right next to each other. I've got one here. And that's it. That's all I've got. Well, that'll be police stations. There we go. Got one there. Oh, I do have two over here. Ah... Okay, so fire safety is bad over here, is okay. Do you know what, I'm going to move one of these to over here somewhere, because we've got nothing over here. Let's just take a quick look at how the roads go. They're all two-way roads, okay. So let's, let's move that, and let's add it. Let's see, where would be a good spot? Someone could get in and out quickly. Good coverage. Maybe on the corner here with the fast road. Yeah, let's go right for the corner there. There we go. That's much better. This isn't doing too good for coverage here. Do you know what? I'm going to add another one. Let's add one down here. We'll squeeze it in the middle there. There we go. That will sort out our fire coverage there. A bit, anyway. Still could do with another one, but... Do you know what? Let's add another one then. Why not? Because what do they cost me? Five sixty a week. We can afford it, and I don't want all of these catching fire and burning down. Well, there's some traffic there. What's going on here? What are they waiting for? Uh, one way. Oh, it's all coming down to this junction here. That's what's going on. Hmm, might have to look at that a bit later. Won't worry about that right now. But people are upgrading now. They're happy with the the extra fire coverage, which is good. Crime rate is too high. Do we not have a police station? Oh, there we go. Auto save kicking in. We have one over there. They've obviously got a long way to go. Let's add another one up here. And we'll get that on the main road. Let's go. Let's go there. We probably could do with one more over this side. It's how far they're going to travel is the problem. Oh, there we go. It's because that, to me, looks like a fire badge. That's what confuses me. That looks okay. Low crime rate. Okay, that'll do. Now, we were looking at electricity last time, and I was trying to place one of my advanced turbines and sort of getting confused, couldn't get down there. Look, there is water available up the top here. And we're going to get 20 megawatts from these things. That is the maximum they do. So let's put that there. Look at that. And hopefully, power output 23 megawatts. And there it goes. So it gives us even more. Good, good. So I might just add one more, just so we're not worrying about that for a while. Let's have a look. We can get that as close as we can. Maybe do it this side. 20 megawatts right in the middle of the river. Hope we don't get any boats wanting to come down that waterfall at the Joe Hills Memorial Wind Farm. Good. Now, today, something I want to work on is buses and also maybe setting up some paths. We've got over here these guys. They, they can travel to here, but if they want to get over here, they've got a long drive to do, which is going to be building up traffic. And again, if these guys want to walk over here, get to industry or anything like that, it's a long way to go. So I was going to see if I could do something with paths, but certainly buses first of all. So let's take a look at that. We can place the bus depot, and I believe this can just go anywhere. I don't think that's a problem where it goes. So let's just put that... Let's put it over... I think I don't want it where people are coming in and out. Ah, oh, here we go. Look, there's some nice spaces here. Let's plonk it there. Let's have a look at that nice model by DP. Very nice. We'll be getting some electricity in a moment. 
Yeah, she got water. I think he's got water coverage. He has. We're actually getting close to running out of water. So just while we think of it. Let's scroll all the way to the other end of this list. Oh man, I wish there was a better way of having these these menus sorted. Uh, let's go that side. Yeah, for all these additional things. Bigger menus that you can click open. I wouldn't mind if it covered half the screen. If I could just get to what I wanted easily. There we go. How noisy is that, by the way? Let's just have a look. They are quite noisy, so people might not like them there all the time. Hmm, we'll have to see. Anyway. Oh, what's that? Faculty Fall. Facility Fall. Oh, right, okay. Well, let's... Thank you for giving me that pop-up. Let's empty that to another facility. And then once that's empty, I'm going to remove that. And we'll just use the incinerators, I think. Okay, so we have our bus depot down. Oh, the game's paused. Let's unpause that. And I'm hoping that having a load of buses around is going to help with the traffic. Particularly got traffic there. Those are okay. They're not too bad. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay out some bus routes. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. Right, we have some bus... Bus uh, line set up here. Let me show you what I've done. We've got a few different ones. And everybody's upgrading because they're happy. We've got this one here that's running around the outside. That's just going round and round. And to be honest, this isn't very far to walk. If people want to get on the bus here. Actually, I'm just wondering whether... People that are walking here... Yeah, they can cross over. There's nice crossings everywhere. So they can cross over, get on the bus, and that goes round around this whole area here. We've then got one here that goes around this industrial area. These are only tiny streets up and down, so that's good. We've got this blue one. You can see it flashing, which goes around the whole of this area here. And then I wanted ones that just went up and down here. But because these are one-way roads, it, there's stops up here, and then it just goes all the way around and starts again. Same with the purple one, stops up here, then it goes all the way around and joins again. This purple line's a different one, we'll come back to that one. Then what I've done here is kept them on the main road. So we've got this line, let's zoom out a bit, this line here, it basically goes down one side, just goes up there to turn around and comes back. I could add a tiny bit of road here for turning around, couldn't I? Maybe I should do that. Because then I could change that and people wouldn't have to go all the way round, I don't think. How would I amend this bus route? Um, if I click on that one, if I right click... It's this one. Oh dear, I'm now messing up my bus routes. Oh, okay, well I'll fiddle with those off camera. Um, I've then got this one going up and down here. And I've got this one going up and down here. I should just go round, turn round a couple of places. And then this purple one is basically, it goes from here to here and back again. That's like the main connection between the two areas. And what I've done is I've given it a little road of its own. A little piece of road of its own. Because that might be used a lot. And I thought rather than having that stopping up all the main traffic... It's got a little road of its own there, and another one here, look. So these buses are already in use. Let's just take a quick look at that. 37%. And what about this one? 13%. So that is really, really good. Let's take a look. 43, 84 per week. It's going up. We want to aim for 10% um, of our total. So we're not doing too bad there at all. We can't complain at that. So let me fiddle with those bus stops that I messed up. And, yeah, we'll see how they are going. This place is upgraded nicely. Look at that. This office building. What are they unhappy about? Pollution. What pollution is there around here? Have I got industry near here? Uh, pollution, pollution. Garbage. I never remember which one's pollution. It's this one. Ah, oh, there is, because there's some... Yes, because there is some industry along there. Well, we may remove that and keep the offices in instead. We shall see. Right, we're just slowing things down a bit. Our incinerator usage. See, we haven't got that many dump trucks out in use, but it's showing that we need some more. I'm not quite understanding whether it's because they can't travel as far or something like that. They don't produce pollution or anything, so I think what we're going to do... 1,400 a week. They're both exactly the same. It looks slightly different. Is I'm going to put one of these over here I think so it's near to this end of town let's plonk that in there 
see how that goes up and I might even put one up this end of town as well just to yeah we're gonna need another one let's put it on let's put it there and hopefully that will cover things a lot better it's still not amazing isn't it I don't know why it's so low but there we go Yes, a bit weird. Hopefully they'll get round and collect all of that trash. People are leaving, I think, because of it, which isn't very good. But we're still making money. 404,000 in the bank. Quickly approaching. 13,000 will take us to the next one, which will give us the crematorium and the water treatment plant, which will be good, because we're going to need some of those. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to zone out some more areas, because we do need some more residential. I'm just thinking where... We bought these other ones here, but before I spread out into those, I really want to finish with this section over here. Please come and get the trash. <laughs> we need the trash. Right, I'll zone some bits out. Right, I've added another junction on here. This is called the Ninja Star. I like this one a lot. So we can see, I've had to sort of put a fork in the road. I don't think it's slowing people down. No, they're going the same. So if they want to come off, they can go up the slope. And it comes off around the other side there like that. I think this looks really, really nice. So they can drive underneath. This is fantastic. I like this. Very nice design. Very, very good. And also, this is elevated this side. So we can start heading up towards the mountain area, which we need. But I'm going to fill in this bit here. I'm just wondering whether... Let's see. I've got that sort of going into one road like that. I might have a six-lane road sort of snake round here. And then we'll just fill that in on all the size of what we need. I'll see what I can come up with. So I've run a road, whoops, shot too far, there we go, run a road, wiggly through there, and coming up the mountain as well, we're going to have a little settlement at the top here, and I've been just sort of setting out my road here, it's quite hard to get them to connect to a wiggly road, let me see, if you want these sort of offshoot roads to be straight, if I just go from here, you can see the angle of the junction, it's going sort of this direction rather than straight, and if I go from this road here, Oh, it's actually letting me click straight now. That's funny, because I've got this road here, it's now letting me go straight. If I do this one, and that is now letting me go straight as well. That is weird, because without this road here, let's remove that one. Yeah, it sort of now lines it up a straight way, which it wouldn't do before. So actually, I can do this now. This is funny, because a minute ago, it wouldn't actually let me do that, and I was going to show you a little trick. But now it's actually, now I've restarted the game again. In fact, we need our motorway carrying on through here, don't we? So let's let's remove these. Now I've done this, it's let me, um, hmm. It's let me draw the line straight again. Fair enough. Well, anyway, I've got that there. I'm going to add some the other side. And I may add a little enclave in here as well. And then we'll get to zone those up. So, let's see what we need to put in here. I'm thinking we need some residential again. So, let's put in so a high-density residential zone. I'm thinking all of this over here. And then to put some offices. There we go. There, 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 and there. Which will hopefully block out the sound. You know what I'm thinking I'm going to do? Is actually do... Offices. Oh, can I dezone that first? And then offices in there. Let's just dezone that bit. There we go. To block the sound from there. I might just do the same the other side as well. Let's just dezone a strip and add some offices there. Let's do another two. There we go. And I think that will sort of put a sound barrier around there, which would be good. And we need some more residential. We can certainly have some up here. Now, this is a bit of a trek to get to the motorway. We've got to come all the way back and all the way around if they want to get over there. Eventually, this will be connected over here. We haven't quite got to the size where we can get some more there. I'm thinking whether to have a bit of high density in here in the middle. So, let's fill some of these in. And these little spots here. And then go for some low density around the outside. Just so we can hopefully cater to everybody's needs. Let's do that. And then let's do all of this low for now. All around the outside. Should we do this as well? Yep, we'll do that as well. See how we go. So what I could do is use this tool. And go up to the road like that. Excellent. 
And I think that will be enough for now. Do we need we need some commercial too? In fact, I could do with sticking some commercial in here, couldn't I? That'd be a good idea. Let's fill in these couple of the last little spots that I'd missed. Let us put some commercial along the main drag here. High density commercial zone. We don't have any of that yet. So let's just put some of this down here and see how we go. And being on the main high street as well, we'll be able to get in and out easily. Maybe not as close to there. And then we'll just put some up here as well. Let's see how that goes. I might just put some offices just along here, just to sort of buffer, buffer the sound. There we go, if I click the right button, there we go. Just see whether that works, and we'll add a bit more commercial along here. There we go. That is filling up, and of course they need water and electricity. There we go, water will be covered. Let's unpause the game, let the water go for electricity. I'm thinking, there we go, water. I'm thinking I'm putting a few windmills up here. We could do that, couldn't we? And then connect those down to there, because the electricity, the water, uh, the electricity um, availability, that's the word I'm hunting for, will start becoming quite difficult soon, but this is a great spot. Let's put four or five of those there. There we go. And then we can run, let's see, where could we run these electricity pylons? Is there a sneaky spot down here? There is. Look, I can run them from here. Because people here want electricity. Let's run them across the road. Okay. Let's run them up and over the road. Let's go from here and page up. There we go. And page down again. Let's run that to there. And then hopefully, as things spread out... They will get some over there as well. We can always add some more lines in if we need to. Brilliant. So commercial is about the only thing that we need a bit more of. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I will add some more high density commercial zone up here. And that will probably fulfill all of the needs that we have at the moment. Okay, we just need to take care of a few needs. We've got dead people needing transportation. Let's have a look here. Hearses in use 10 out of 10. So even though there's plenty of space, it's the hearses that aren't getting around. Let's have a look. So we still don't have that unlocked yet. So let's go for another cemetery. Let's place a couple in. Let's put one... Let's see. Let's place one over here. Hopefully cover this area. And that's spreading out over there as well. We could do with one over here as well, I think, before it starts becoming a problem. How much do these cost? 160 a week cost 8,000. Okay, we can afford it. Let's stick one... Is that gonna let me go there? Space where the occupy... There, there we go. One there. And I'm thinking we'll stick one over here before it becomes a problem. Let's slip one in there. Also a fire station. Let's go for... Oh, we've got the firehouse. The actual big fire station available. What does that cost us? 1,400 odd a week. 60,000. Yeah, let's plonk one of these in. And cover a massive area. We're gonna put that here. So that can get all around. Excellent. Uh, health, what have we got here? We have the big large hospital available. Let's put one of those over here as well. Because this is going to be expanding this way. So I'm thinking that's going to cover even more of an area. So let's put that there. And let's hook up our electric cables again. Stop herky-jerking around. Let's delete that one. And let's have this go out to there and connect to there. Excellent. So that's that, and that's that. Police, not too fussed about. They seem to get on okay. School, they're going to be travelling a long way. Let's add an elementary school up here somewhere. We'll plonk that in the middle, I think, there. Uh, high school capacity is okay. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Bus routes, we haven't added any to this new area, so that's something else... I need to do. Maybe let's run. Until we get more people moving in, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, parks we haven't looked at for a while. We still have... Oh, it's a small agricultural field. Yeah, that's going to be something for next time that we're going to work on. That's a palm tree. Uh, where's the teeny... Oh, this is now the hunt for the teeny tiny park. Found it! Let's put a couple of these around. Actually, this is a bigger park than before, isn't it? 
Mm, okay, let's go with a slightly bigger part. Why not? It's only taken out one lot. We need one there. We certainly need it down here. Let's go there. They've got no leisure at all in here. Your house has been deemed to be replaced. Can't do that one. <laughs> I thought I'd do the one that's on fire. Uh, let's get one in here. That'll cover all of that. Nice. One in the middle here. And then one to cover all of this. There we go. Ready for when people move in. Hopefully they can start working on collecting the dead. I think they should. So the next sort of expansion, when we get a square, will be this way. But we want to do something cool with this bit up here. And with this bit up here. And also, let's have a look. What have we got up the top here? Is this oil? That looks like a lot of oil to me. We've got lots of forest and fertile land. I was hoping we'd have some farm area around. We've got a little tiny bit there. Let's zoom in a bit and have a look. Not quite sure there's any anywhere else on the rest of the map. Oh, tons down there and tons there. So the top of this hill, behind that mountain, this is all going to be ore. So we need to think... Uh, oil, beg your pardon, oil. So we need to think. We can actually build there now. So we can have a big oil industry at the top. Shame we don't have tunnels. But maybe we can connect that up around the back here. We can do that. So we'll be working on that next time. I'm going to work on getting electricity to all these different places. Oh, they're struggling there. Did I not connect those across the road? I thought I did. Don't know quite what's going on there. And this will expand. We're getting more people moving in. Budget's doing okay. Are we actually going to hit our next one before the end of this episode? We're not, so we shall see that next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Please leave a like as well if you enjoyed it. Always uh, appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time. Let's take a look. Whoa, let's not do that. Let's move forward a bit. Let's take a look here from the top of our new wind farm. Don't forget as well, any suggestions of names is greatly appreciated. Uh, I need to turn that off. And then do this. Oh, ow. I don't want to be in there. Let's move up here. There we go. Yeah. And we get to enjoy the lovely view of our beautiful city. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.